Hello, Katya here and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will altering some small wooden houses. Uh, you can uh, use them for key rings or gifts or some ornaments. I'm thinking to give these small houses to friends. And, and uh, I will have some different decorations uh, with molds. Uh, and I start here with soft glass gel and some uh, old book pages. And I tear them in some pieces and I'm thinking that I will use the soft glass gel to add them like a uh, little bit texture and interest on my wooden houses. And I will not show you all of them because I was thinking I was spending two days to do all these. So I will show you only some. Um, while I'm sitting here and doing, I start with these. Uh, I'm thinking, ah, uh, I got idea from the beginning. And uh, while I'm sitting here, and doing this in the wooden with the book pages, I was thinking to do them in a different way. So while I'm doing this, I'm changing my mind. And I think that's pretty okay. So I start to paint my wooden houses black instead. Yes, I'm uh, changing my mind. And all the small houses are painting with black gesso uh, instead. I was thinking to do them in different colors in white with the, with the pages in the background, but I changed my mind. So my black houses now will have the book pages. And this time I have soft matte yell and uh, I have uh, shoes, the soft matte yell instead, because it get a matte finish on the book pages. And that's because I want to add a little bit uh, distress ink and it's, it will fasten better. It will show more better than if I have the glossy surface. So that's uh, how it can be in the process. Sometimes you, did, uh, you don't really know what you will do, so you can change your mind. And uh, I think that's a uh, joy with the uh, mixed media. So don't be afraid for that. And I have you uh, find in my stash some different decorations of molds. Uh, both uh, some uh, hearts and moons and stars like that from Fina Bear's co collection, but also some other brands. And I, I'm so sorry, but I don't know from what brand the small angel comes from. So I pa paint them also black uh, and leave them for drying. So, you see me, I'm not so, so afraid to have paint on my fingers, but I always try to use packaging. Okay, now I have my black um, decorations, my small houses. Uh, I have some texture paste. And now we go to the distance ink. I want to soften up my... Uh, wood pages a little bit and uh, I go with the vintage photo and the black suit uh, and that's why because I want to soften the edges I have to do that before I glue them but I do it now, now after 
Now I take the, my favorite paste, texture paste, graphite, and when it's dry, it will be really, really, really black, like um, this uh, black, like the streets, because it's a little bit shimmer. Uh, and I think it gives a great texture. And while uh, it's, uh, uh, it's not uh, dry, I have some 3D matte gel and I have some decorations. Uh, I have some small pieces that are not for scrapbooking or mixed media. Uh, I think uh, the decorations are to decorate the fashion and clothes, uh, but I have so many of them in my stash, so I'm thinking to use them to decorate my small houses. Uh, I decorate uh, almost every side, but not so big decorations because I still want to uh, have some of the graphite paste and all, also the book pages to show. And you see uh, that I'm not so careful with the 3D material. I doesn't care uh, if I comes the some of the 3D material come outside. If I was thinking to be more perfect and didn't want it to come outside, I have used glue instead. Because now when it's a little bit outside, I'm adding some glitter on it. So I want some extra texture ar around my small embellishments. Uh, I think that gives some extra. So I'm doing the process over again. Uh, graphite paste, not everywhere. Uh, and you see me, I'm doing a little bit here and there and it's only on small surface I'm working and then I add the decorations and uh, the 3D material and stick them. And I have also some small decorations like metallic uh, screws or, or um, stars so it's very tricky to glue them. Uh, but I have used with purpose the 3D material because I want the glitter. So you see on some places I add the flat decoration uh, here and there to create a little bit interest. And uh, like I said, I want the book pages to show so that get like a vintage look uh, in the same time. A little bit grungy and, and vintage. And I really like the vintage look so much uh, um, and the grunginess the black. And I decide that I want to have more control over the glitter. So I add the glitter with a brush instead. So here I have a little bit more control over the glitter and I can add only exact on the pieces uh, where I have the extra 3D material uh, because it's so easy that the glitter come on the graphite paste and everything get glittery and I only want to have it around my embellishment. So I did the same thing with all my three houses and all the other ones. And now I take a brush when it's dry. I was leaving this over the night and I brush uh, really hard because I want to uh, brush uh, the glitter that is not fastened very well. So 
some glitter will peel off when I brush and I brush really hard and so I'm sure that the extra glitter will uh, go off. Okay, time to add some color. I have a vision that the colors uh, will be like uh, different, um, some in blue, some in gold, some in yellow and or pink or something like that. And I will use the uh, the uh, art alchemy boxes from Finaber, and you will see me uh, that I will show you this bronze edge. I use them as a base on all of them. Uh, it was like a little bit white. It was not mold. Uh, it's like the wax and the mica separates, so don't worry. And uh, this bron uh, bronze age, I use them on all. And here I also go with a makeup brush and I go really strong. And don't use the best brush you have for these purposes because it can really destroy your brush. So I use very cheap brushes for this kind of things, uh, like a, a, a dollar or like that from dollar store, uh, because uh, the brushes really uh, get messy after this. After that, and I use the same brush, I perhaps wipe off some excess and I try to do them in different colors. And when I add waxes, I want to have a different color to give more interest. And I do not everywhere with all the colors. I do like a little bit here and a little bit there. So it get more interesting. And you see me now with the do the finger and here I want it to be only on the top. So you see me next, I go for the more purple and silvery one. And have the bronze age first and then I go and I add a little bit here and a little bit there to give more interest. And you see me, I'm adding a little bit at the Bronze Age on the end because I noticed it was uh, not so much interest. So sometimes you can change your mind. And so it was silvery and purple, a little bit more brown. And here I go for the pink ones, pink ones. And uh, I go with the feelings and all try to make uh, interesting uh, color combinations when I did this uh, with the waxes. Hope you enjoy my video and if you like please uh, give the thumb up and please leave me a com comment. I try to say thank you to you all. I always read all the comments so be sure for that. I would be so happy if you tell me what you think and uh, if you want me to do a special video or if you want me to learn more about something else. Okay, here we have the next step. I have a lot of pearls from my, from many years ago. I think it's from 20 years ago uh, when I did make some, I, I had a pearl hobby. So I'm thinking why not use them? I have some metallic wire, I think it's copper wire. I have in silver and gold and a copper and I try to use them. So I have pearls in different sizes. I take the smallest one first and the bigger ones in the end. And you see me, I go with the wire around the house at the bottom, sometimes over the decoration and sometimes uh, under it. It depends. And here uh, on some I have bigger pearls on, uh, and on some I don't have so many pearls. It uh, depends what you like. So I go around it and 
I place the pearls where I like and try to stick the ends so they don't show and hide the ends in the pearls or under the other ones. So some places I have more wire uh, and then some I don't have so much. So I think that's make uh, give them a little bit more personality. And even on the top, I have some yarn. Uh, I was thinking to have chains, um, but then I changed my uh, idea, and I want to hide the the end where I have uh, the knob. I think it's called the knob. I don't. I don't know. And uh, yes. I do the same. I pick up the pearls and this one was the really time consuming part because the holes on the pearls was so so small. And here also I take the wire and go like crossing around the air around it so I will hide, uh, hide the edges inside it. So fun to do this and all of the houses were uh, very different because the colors and the decorations but also on the uh, my last step here uh, when I was adding the, the wire and the pearls um, and so fun. It will be so fun to give this to some of my friends who share the mixed media love uh, that I do. So really, really fun. So we repeat and take one of the more smaller houses, pick up your favorite pearls, start with the smaller ones, and for me, it was easier to pick up with the wire. Uh, and if you have bigger pearls, have them on the end and start them and place them where you want. Like turn around, place a, a pearl and go next and place a pearl. If you have been knitting with pearls, you understand uh, what I mean. Uh, you knit and where you want to have a pearl, you really leave a pearl there. So here I, uh, all of uh, my houses, I have more pearls on the front where I have my decorations. And uh, I try to wire up and go really hard and uh, to close the ends. Yes, please sure to give some love, uh, give the thumbs up and if you really like, please subscribe and remember to click the bell button so you will have a notification every time I uh, uh, have a video up and uh, be sure to do that on every channel you like. Yes, it helps us who do videos uh, to do more. Uh, so uh, I try to do that on videos I like. I'm not so, I don't have so much time to watch so many videos, but if I like a video, I give a thumbs up and try to leave a, a comment with love to show that I support, yeah, try to give support. So do that. And if you get inspired, leave a comment or have a questions or let me know what you think or what should my next videos be about. Yes, leave me your comment. And you see me doing the pearls and the wire also on the, the top. And oh yes, watch at these beauties. I already love them. Uh, and they are in different colors, in different pearls, different combination. Really, really fun to do. And here are the three that I have done. They're really shiny 
and uh, have some uh, interesting parts. But I was feel that I need to do some while uh, uh, dry brushing. Not too much, not all over, like on only two, three places, a little bit or one place on each side. Carefully, carefully. And here I'm so, so carefully to not have so much. And I really have a dry brush and a really soft brush. So to give them like a highlight, like more round edges, I do this more uh, on every of mine. And I'm so, so happy if you have watched all, all my video. And uh, I hope to see you soon again. And here you can see all my uh, beauties. And I really are in love with them. And I hope you are inspired of my key rings, ornaments, or my small gift houses. Thank you. And see you soon in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.